What's up guys and welcome to Fat Princess Adventures. This is a game that just released and I've been actually really excited for it. So it's cool to see it's actually finally out. I would have liked it if they sort of hyped it up a little instead of just saying, oh, it's out right now. But hey, the game is out. We're going to be doing a bit of a playthrough on it. It is sort of like a nice little short game. There's about only seven chapters in it. So it should be fun. It should be cool. If you enjoy the series, make sure to give it a like and let me know in the comment section below so I know to keep on posting videos on it. But for now, let's head in to Fat Princess Princess Adventures. And the legend of the Fat Princess continues. But this time, our adventure is a bit different. Once upon a time, in the land of Titania, there lived two princesses who still loved to play together in the Black Forest. One day, an evil queen from a far-off land decided to destroy everything sweet in Titania. The queen secretly organized a massive naval assault on Great Bitten. She was hell-bent on capturing the two lovely princesses. Upon discovering news of the impending invasion, the kings declared, as they had so many times before, This means war! War never changes, as they say. Our story begins as the quiet shores of Great Britain are invaded. So now we got all these bad guys coming in. That's not good. <laughs> We're just sort of waiting around for him. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, there's me. I guess I'm the good guy, huh? Hello. How you doing, everybody? Green. The I goblins are attacking Great Bitten. The invaders have reached the beaches. You must hurry. All right, then. Let's help you out. Okay, then. Let's help this guy out. Um, hmm. All right, then. I, I sort of played a little bit of this, so I know how to play. It's basically like an ARPG, an action-adventure RPG, that, um, you know, in the world of Fat Princess, it doesn't play like the original ones, but it's still really cool, really fun, and adorable. That guy has a coin. I want that coin! Give me that coin, buddy! But it's re I actually really like it so far, so I definitely want to do a full playthrough on this. I probably won't be doing 100%, but we'll definitely be doing the main quest. There's a lot of side missions. Let's jump over this. It's just really beautiful, too. I think it's actually a very stylistic game, in my opinion. There's four different classes you can play, as we can see right here. We have, like, the warrior, we have a ranger, we have an engineer, and then we have a wizard. We're going to be doing one per episode for these first few episodes, at the least. And then, yeah, we're just going to keep on moving on with that. But for now, we're going to be doing this. This is primarily a multiplayer game, but I will be playing it by myself, just because I think that's a little bit more interesting and a little bit more fun, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes I just enjoy gaming on my own. Alrighty then, so we're just making our way. If we hold on to L1, we can see the map. We're making our way through everything right now. And we can see our main quest right now, which is Great Bitten. I love that name. It's under attack by the Bitter Queen's gobbling army. Find your way inside the village and rescue the princess. Will do. Alright then. So now we're fat because we ate too much cake. And it's actually a power-up. It makes you hit pretty darn hard, and I love it. We can also find different weapons and such, and that'll be pretty helpful. Alright then, let's get ready here, and then, wah! Ooh, that uppercut! <laughs> we can also hold down and do a bit of a Zelda spin, which I like a lot. That's also cool. Take you out really quick, and then, oh no, the chickens. The chickens will attack you if you attack them. Alright, we got... And I beat you more! Watch out for those mines! So one thing you'll quickly notice is that this game is open world. Like, we can go down here and there will be a chest to find and some cool loot within, but we don't actually have to. I wouldn't say it's the most open world thing, but as we get past this first opening chapter, you'll notice it a bit more. That we can sort of kind of go wherever we want and take whatever missions we want, and it's actually pretty cool. All right, let's go over this way, though, because like I said, there is a nice little chest off this way, and slam down on these guys, give them a bit of a surprise attack here. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Yeah, okay. And what do we got in here? We got a waffle shield. So let's um press our touchpad here, and we can move over to here. And waffle shield seems to be a bit better. It has two more defense and absorb, redirect. Chance to recover a heart upon shield block, which is cool. Alrighty, then let's do that one. Sounds nice and good. 
Um, and we have the choice of two different... Oh, <laughs> this one's made out of balloons. That's funny looking. All right, then we have a waffle shield right now, though. I think that'll be pretty good for now. All right, then let's keep going this way. Hmm, I don't see too much more, but it will be good to explore and stuff. I will be playing this game on the easier difficulty, the cakewalk difficulty, once again, because I sort of just want to sit back and enjoy this playthrough, and I played a little bit of each difficulty, and I noticed that the main difference, I mean, of course it is harder, but bosses and enemies just sort of take a long time to beat up, and it's sort of this sort of annoying and, you know, sort of mindless button mashing at some point, so I wanted to sort of keep away from that and just sort of keep it a little more, you know, fleshed out and a little more fun. All right, then, let's open this. Uh-oh, got a whole bunch of stuff coming in. Oh, we got a mage staff there. We won't be able to use that too much for this class, but eventually we'll. Now, let's use that our awesome sauce move to power up here. Basically, after we destroy a certain amount of enemies, we'll be able to use the awesome sauce. All right, let's destroy all those. Give me all this cake. I want all the cake. It's delicious. Hooray! <laughs> Alright, get all this stuff. We're fat again, but first let's get the green goblin eyeball, because it gave us some money. Alright, let's go this way. I just love the waddle you have when you're this fat. <laughs> it's hilarious. Alright, and, and a bomb, so let's uh, throw this at you. Ooh, the double kill. Alright, we got tons more guys coming around here. Let's take him out. Won't be too bad at all. This game can be really fun. It's just adorable, it's cute, it's a little crude, but it has a good humor to it. It's fun. Oh, ooh, here's some awesome sauce. Then let's use this awesome sauce here. Awesome sauce, activate! I love that so much. Okay. Oh, ow, that one got me. <laughs> All right, took care of these guys. Let's get another awesome sauce in our arsenal here. Drink this. All right, okay, well, I already drank it. All right, um, slam, and then charge up here. Bam! Ooh! So many takedowns, that was awesome. Now this guy's sort of a stronger enemy, he's gobble gobble. <laughs> that's just silly. Ooh, stink bombs, new engineer gear, that's awesome, I like that one. Um, okay, now this won't really work too well, but basically we can throw that at something and it'll turn into a chicken. What is this? Whoa, that was cool looking, I haven't seen that one. And it's our strongest one so far. Whoa, this is a cool one. Oh, I really like that. The particle effects in this game have gotten me really blown away. It just looks really good all the time. All right, let's pick up this because this will be helpful. We can turn enemies like Zeke the Deep Fryer. <laughs> this is horrible. All right, um, there you go. Hey, it didn't turn him into a chicken. Oh, it turned me into a chicken, I see. I messed the myth through it, didn't throw up very well. We only have one heart right now, but we can still be super chicken. Wow, we're a hard hitting chicken. <laughs> wow, we, okay. Let's get ourselves an archer helmet here. Cool, cool. This game is hilariously silly. Okay, let's blow this up really quick. Hopefully some people, oh, they didn't even try to walk into that radius. That's sort of a bummer. Oh no, Sloth Tooth the Insane. Get out of here, Sloth Tooth. <laughs> it's a weird name, but I guess everybody has a weird name in this world. All right, let me pick up the big cake. That'll be a full restore. Nice, nice. All right, oh, and take them all out. Then what are the goblin grills? <laughs> Okay, keep going up this way. But this is the game I've been really excited for. I actually wasn't expecting it to come out this year. I thought this was going to be a 2016 game because we haven't heard a lick of information, pun intended, on this game. You know, with nothing at all. And then all of a sudden, it's just sort of out and everybody can play it. So it is very cool, though. I mean, for it having very little advertising, it's definitely worth the time to try it out. All right, let's um, get that exploded, get another checkpoint. Now, you also get some multipliers for actually playing with people, which I would think it would be the opposite. You know, like, I have a bigger challenge because I'm not playing with other people. You'd think that may, they'd make it a little bit easier because of that. Ah, ah, wonderful. All recruits here to help protect Great Bitten. And guess what? I already have your first assignment. Hooray! Three of my royal guards are out there fighting, and one of them has the key to the south gate here. Head back out there, find my guards, and we can unlock this blasted gate. Oh, I knew I should have made a duplicate key. Or, or perhaps I should have hid one under a stone or something, or put one in my pocket. Go, oh, what are you waiting for? <laughs> All right, then, he seems to ramble, but okay. So looks like we gotta go this way. All right, we already know that, no worries. So we got still a lot of people to take care of. <laughs> this whole town is under attack. All right, then let's awesome sauce, swing around and take out like everybody. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it, I love it. Okay, get this guy over here. So the lock on, you know, ability is what makes this much easier. All right, I know this guy. <laughs> Who's this chilling here? He just like was not paying attention. Thank you so much. 
I thought I was done for. I'll head back to the south gate immediately. <laughs> Alrighty then, you're welcome. Alright, ooh, there's a chest over here. What is that gonna have? A sacred oak dagger. Is this for me? No, it's for the archer. Oh, the archer has daggers, while we have just sort of swords. Um, there is definitely a significant difference between the classes, so I definitely am, all, you know, excited to show them off. Okay, pick up this. I think that so far, um, definitely this guy is my favorite. He just plays the best, but I, I don't think I've played the engineer yet. I've just played like an hour's worth of this game going into it, just to test out if it was even worth making videos on, because I didn't know if it was going to be any good at all, and I've been pleasantly surprised. It's been really awesome. All right. Take care of this guy, come on. More of these goblins, or gobbins, apparently. And he says the same exact thing as the other guy does. Maybe they're identical twins, maybe they're the same person. Who knows, who knows. All right, we got some more guys down here. Let's get the slam down on them. Take them all out, come on. You can't, you can't fight with me, buddy. I'm so much more your superior. I love this sword. I've never had this sword before, before and it looks really cool. I forgot to give the key back to the captain. Oh, yes, he did. Thank you, brave one. Here, take the key. Now back to the south gate with haste. Oh boy. There you go. All right then, open this up, and we get a bandana of might. All right, and then a bomb. I'll take the bomb, and we'll keep going. All right then, so is that everything we can do around here? I think there's still some stuff we can go up this ledge over here, but for now, let's uh do that. Take care of those guys. And then, ooh, ooh, you, what are you, where were you before? I don't know, but you're gone now. Ooh, uh, sprung. <laughs> All right, go up here. Ooh, good, good, good. And then what is, oh, it's a little teddy bear. Hi, teddy bear. Is that what we turned him into? All right, then, and a free chest. While it's opening up, we'll get the stuff in these. Okay, and then s'more shot. I love the puns, they're beautiful. All right, so now we have to make our way back to the main guy over here. Hello. How are you? That's all of them. Thank you so much. We can't open it just yet. Protect the gate. Goblins incoming! Oh no! Where are they? <laughs> oh, here they are. Okay then. So we're gonna activate our awesome sauce here, and I got our main quest complete there. So we got a few more coins, which is awesome. We do also have a level up system. I don't know too much about that though. Alrighty then. <laughs> a mail order ring, really? This game is silly. Very silly. Alrighty then. Where are you? Take you out, come on, come on, come on. Keep slicing, keep dicing. And it opens, cool. Even though I, I thought there was, there is one more guy alive. And they just opened it up anyways. All right, with that being said, I think that's where we'll call it off for now. In the next episode of Fat Princess Adventures, we'll make our way into this big door and hopefully save our princess. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, share it with your friend and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point in the video, make sure you comment Fat Zebra so I know you'll watch to the end of the video, and now you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.